extra questions factorize m into m minus 1 minus n into n minus 1 so we can write this as m into m m square minus m minus n square plus n what we can do is combine these two m square minus n square minus m plus n this we can write as this of the form a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b into a minus b so we can write this as m plus n into m minus n from here we can take out minus so it become m minus n what we have done here is we have written m square minus n square as m plus n into m minus n then i have taken negative sign from these two so when we take negative sign become m and this is minus n so m minus n is common so we can write this as m minus n is common remaining m plus n and here minus 1 so the factors are m minus n and m plus n minus 1 next is if x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 0 are the zeros of the polynomial 2x cube minus 5x square plus px plus b then find the values of p and b and we have taken p of x is equal to 2x cube minus 5x square plus px plus b what is given is x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 0 are zeros of this so what we can say is p of 2 equal to 0 and p of 0 is equal to 0 because these are the two zeros so we can first we can take p of 0 equal to 0 so 2 into 0 minus 5 into 0 plus p into 0 plus b equal to 0 this implies that b equal to 0 then p of 2 equal to 0 so instead of x we are giving 2 so 2 into 2 cube minus 5 into 2 square plus p into 2 plus b equal to 0 so this is equal to 16 minus 20 plus 2p plus b equal to 0 this means that minus 4 plus 2p plus b equal to 0 so this means that 2p plus b equal to 4 but we got b as 0 so we can substitute that values 2p plus 0 is equal to 4 because b equal to 0 so we got 2p is equal to 4 p is equal to 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 so the values are b equal to 0 and p is equal to 2 what is given is 2 and 0 are the zeros of the given polynomial so we have taken p of 2 equal to 0 and p of 0 equal to 0 so by substituting p of 0 as 0 we got b equal to 0 then we have taken p of 2 equal to 0 substituting 2 instead of x we got p as 2 next question third one if x minus a is a factor of 3x square minus mx minus nx then prove that a is equal to m plus n by 3 factor theorem if x minus a is a factor p of a equal to 0 so p of a equal to 0 so 3 into a square minus m into a minus n into a equal to 0 we can take out a from this a into 3a minus m minus n equal to 0 this means that either a equal to 0 or 3a minus m minus n equal to 0 
product of two numbers equal to 0 means either the first one equal to 0 or the second one equal to 0. So, either a equal to 0 or 3a minus n minus n equal to 0. We have to take this 3a is equal to m plus n. So, a is equal to m plus n divided by 3. This is the required answer. Then fourth question, polynomials 3x cube minus 5x square plus kx minus 2 and minus x cube minus x square plus 7x plus k leave the same remainder when divided by x plus 2. Then find the value of k. Remainder, same remainder is getting when it is divided by the linear polynomial x plus 2. This x plus 2 can be written as x minus minus 2. So, when a polynomial is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a, the remainder is p of a and q of a here. That means p of minus 2 and q of minus 2 are the remainders. Both the remainders are equal. So, what we can write as p of minus 2 is equal to q of minus 2. So, substitute uh, minus 2 instead of x. So, 3 into minus 2 whole cube minus 5 into minus 2 whole square plus k into minus 2 minus 2 is equal to minus minus 2 whole cube minus minus 2 whole square plus 7 into minus 2 plus k. So, what we are getting us when you simplify you will get like this minus 46 minus 2k equal to minus 10 plus k. So, minus 36 is equal to 3k. So, k is equal to minus 36 divided by 3 which is equal to minus 12. So, the value of k is minus 12. Here what is given is two polynomials are given when it is divided by x plus 2 the re remainder obtained is same. So, what we have done is p of minus 2 is equal to q of minus 2. So, this is the remainder obtained. So, equating both we are getting k as minus 12. Next is if x plus 1 by x is equal to 6 find x square plus 1 by x square. What is given is x plus 1 by x is equal to 6 squaring on both sides. So, x plus 1 by x whole square is equal to 6 square. So, x square plus 2x into 1 by x plus 1 by x square is equal to 36. So, we can cancel of these two. So, x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equal to 36. Therefore, x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 36 minus 2 which is equal to 34. This is the answer. So, what is given is x plus 1 by x is equal to 6. Find x square plus 1 by x square. We have to square on both sides. So, after that we have to expand using a plus b whole square. Then we can cancel both the x and the remaining is x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equal to 36. So, 1 x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 34. And the sixth question, if a plus b plus c is equal to 9 and a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 40, find a square plus b square plus c square. So, clearly what you have to do is a plus b plus c whole square. So, a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. From here what we can do is we can write this as a square plus b square plus c square. We can take out 2 from this 2 into ab plus bc plus ca. So, what we can do is we can substitute the given things. What is given? a plus b plus c is given. So, instead of a plus b plus c we can write 9. 9 square is equal to 
a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into the value of a b plus b c plus c a is given as 40 2 into 40 so 81 is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 80 therefore a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 81 minus 80 which is equal to 1 here a plus b plus c is given and a b plus b c plus c a is given we have to find a square plus b square plus c square so what here what the identity which we have used as a plus b plus c whole square equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c a after that we have taken out two common term two then we got the equation like this finally we have substituted the values given so a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1 that is the answer.